Hi guys, Billy here with Good Breeze. Today I'm going to talk about Alula. This is a new material you might have seen over the last couple years. Um, it was originally used by Ocean Rodeo. Uh, they put it in their flights and roams and a couple other of their kites. And this new material is really impressive in my eyes. It's probably the biggest revolution in kites that I've seen since the bow kite. The material is just known to be stiffer, um, stronger, lighter weight, all around kind of just a better material for a leading edge or strut. Um, you, we've been using it in the Ocean Rodeo flights for the last couple of years now for our school and man our instructors love it. This kite stays in the sky when no other kite will. It's significantly lighter and not just lighter but the, the stiffness of the material is, is so much stronger and so much stiffer that you can actually have a much narrower leading edge and that thinner leading edge just creates an overall better performing kite. It's faster, it's smoother through the window, it goes up wind better, it just feels better in the sky, not to mention staying up when, when most kites wouldn't because of its light weight. Um, so, you know, first you look at it, especially if you look at the price tag, some people might think it's a gimmicky type thing, but I'm sold on it. It's really impressive. Um, now you're starting to see other brands use it. You got Core with their new XR Pro. I mean, this kite, I, within a few days of its release, world records were broken for jumps. They think they were like close to 120 feet, just crazy, crazy high jumps. You know, being the XR already one of the best boosting kites out there. Now you got a thinner, faster, leading edge, stiffer, lighter kite overall. And man, you're going to be jumping to the moon. Uh, I haven't got to try this kite personally. We only got a few of them in. They a very small do uh, batch in the first release. Hoping to have more here in the next few months, but I think this is going to be a, a real popular big seller for those who like to jump real high. Um, also, here I have the Ocean Rodeo Alula Flight. Um, this is the 12 meter, the 2024 version. So this is the new that they put in the five struts on it. Um, and this is the 17 meter Flight, which is uh, also the Alula, and this is from like 2023 model, which was a, which a three strut. Um, so I'm going to throw these guys on the scale just to get an idea of kind of what they weigh. So some people might be wanting to compare, for instance, the XR Pro to the Flight. And let's see kind of what we have weight-wise. Um, now, again, weight's not the only thing when it comes to these Alulas. The stiffness is, is huge. It really plays a big part in how the kite performs. So with the XR Pro, let's see. We got... This one comes to seven pounds and 7.2 ounces. All right, so now we're gonna measure just the regular XR8 without the Alula material, just to see the difference on those two. Here you're at eight pounds and three ounces. Now we're gonna measure, weigh the Flight Alula, 2024, five pounds, 15 ounces, so that's quite a bit lighter. These uh, these flights are super lightweight. And this is also a five strut, so surprisingly the flight is much, much lighter than the XR Pro even. Lastly here I got the 17 meter flight, so this is a big kite. Now this is uh, the 2023 version, so it's only three struts. So let's see what that comes in at. We're at six pounds, four ounces, so that's even less then the XR Pro 12 meter. So what is Alula? You know, it's a new material. It's not a Dacron, it's not a ripstop, it's nothing that we've used before in kites. It's a whole new developed material and it is Alula. That is what they're calling the material. And it's typically this bright yellow material that you see on the leading edge of kites and wings. Um, they are starting to make it in like a clear or a black color, I believe. You'll see some of the new Alula wings have it. And uh, the yellow is really just like a UV coating that they put on top of the material itself. Um, so what we found is once the construction methods were figured out on this, on how to sew it and glue it the seams and all that, it seems to be a really impressive material. It's so stiff. It, it lasts longer, it just feels lighter, and overall, I think that we're going to see a lot more Lula in all wind sports, and just excited to see where it goes. So it is significantly more expensive, 
but one of the things to consider is it being stiffer and stronger, it will last a little longer. Whereas some kites, especially where it comes to wings, where the, the, the wings wear out a little bit more, a little quicker, the Alula material is stronger, stiffer, and so it will last a bit longer, especially if you take care of it. Now some of the early series, I saw some of this gold coating flaking off on some of them. I think they've got that figured out. I haven't seen that on most of the newer stuff. And also that was just this UV coating anyway. The material itself, the Lula, the strength and stiffness seemed to hold no problem. Um, so overall, really excited about the Lula material. I really think it's the next best thing since the bow kite when it comes to the kite industry. Um, for light winds, I think it's gonna be great. I think for high winds, it's also great. It's stiff, it makes the kite perform, just makes it a better rigid wing and you just moves way faster through the window and just feels overall like a really good increase in performance. So when it comes to what we think of Alula, we're really impressed. I think it's worth the extra money. Hopefully the cost comes down, um, but it's, uh, it's great right now and I don't think you'd regret it. So more about the Lula material. It's designed by a Canadian company and they've actually gone public now so you can even buy stock in their company um, through the Canadian stock market but they've created a composite material that's bonded on the molecular level. So they use no glues or fumes to bond this material. Um, it just adds to the stiffness and strength of it. And also it's recyclable ready. So you can, you know, you don't need to worry about filling up the landfills with the uh, Dacron and all this other material. Um, we do see a lot of old kites just getting thrown away after they become bagged out, torn, just outdated. So that is nice something to have something that's actually sustainable and recyclable as well. So uh, yeah, give, give Alula a chance.